Back on Tiger pregame, joined now by the head coach of the Tigers, Drew Groover. The Tigers coming off of a loss on the road Friday night coach at Smoky Valley. Uh, really a game that there were about two or three little 10-point runs by Smoky Valley early. Otherwise, it was a really tight game, and then things just got away from you late in that one. But uh, some spurts by the Vikings that the Tigers allowed just kind of kept you out of the ball game for a while. Yeah, I mean, um, I think you hit it, you know, kind of on the head, nail on the head there. Um, I thought the first half we didn't, didn't particularly play bad. I thought we played pretty well. Um, we had some costly turnovers, um, you know, there in the first half that that uh, let them get the lead out to 12 points, I believe, going into halftime. But, you know, if we could eliminate those turnovers and, and then, too, I remember they banked in a three at uh, – <laughs> into the first quarter as well. You know, I thought we defended it pretty well there, and, and they bank in a three, you know, kind of a, a lucky shot. But, um, um, you know, in the second half, we just, you know, we, we didn't execute. Uh, we didn't get baskets on the offensive end. And then, um, you know, and that's a good team. They're, they're, they've got some guys out there that shoot the ball really well. And and uh, the one kid who, you know, according to what we've seen and, and their stats that I saw online, he, he'd only hit four threes all uh, season long uh, up to that game, up to our game. And, and, you know, and I think he ended up hitting three or four threes, you know, uh, Friday night as well. So, um, you know, the, and maybe he's a better shooter than that. He just hadn't shot that many. But um, um, just, you know, I think the biggest thing was turnovers for us. Uh, once again, uh, I think we had 21 turnovers to, to, to their 11. And uh, that was a big factor in, in the outcome of the game. Frustrating, I know, for you guys and for the, the guys on the court as well to have played such a good stretch in Hillsboro, And then maybe a little let down. I, you point out some great things. That without the banked in three, it's a seven-point game going to the second quarter. That changes really the framework of, of how that game's going. Uh, Zach Abel, the, he banked in the three and then hit three more, as you said, hadn't hit any hardly all season long. So a little frustrating to come out of such good basketball and, and see one get away from you. I think that was maybe the most frustrating part down the stretch. Uh, they started to stretch it and we just didn't have an answer yeah and, and you know that was you know that was the biggest thing i um you know told the guys that you know i thought we played fairly well in the first half there and 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 yeah when when you get against a good team and, and they make a run you know you've got to be able to to answer back at some point you got to weather weather their run and then and then answer back and and we weren't able to do that and and um you know just something that uh, you know we've, we've kind of struggled with all year long and uh it's just something that we'll have to continue to try to improve on and and get better at here as the rest of the season goes along tonight back into league play you take on the uh, chapman irish on the road first game against these guys you dug such a deep hole down 17 one after one quarter it's hard to even know what the matchups are in this ball game yeah, I mean they're they're going to run one three one zone and and you know looking back at game film from the last time we we had some open looks and and some layups and things that we missed early on it that, that would have definitely helped and um, but you know they're they're good they're they're long and athletic um, got some you know very big guys and which makes it tough you know makes that one three one so tough and and we try to simulate it in practice the best we can with the guys we have but when you've got you know, five foot seven or five foot eight in all the spots running the one three one and you get up against them with, you know, six three, six four, six five guys, you know, with their length and, and the way they run it, it, it makes it tough to, to to simulate. So um you know, we looked at film and you know, there there's some gaps and things in that zone that if we attack it right I think we'll get looks looks from it, and and again though we're going to have to step up and and make some shots and <clears throat> not be intimidated by them, and um, you know and then uh, on the other end of the floor, you know our our defense hasn't been as good as what I'd like it to be all year long, and uh, that's something that we we've got to do a better job on of uh, this game is getting back on defense and not letting turnovers lead to runouts. Coach, uh, kind of nice to get back on a regular schedule. Uh, would you say that's true? You get in a rhythm of games, and then the, the midseason tournament's always fun, but it's almost uh, getting uh, bodies and minds back wrapped around playing two games a week. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll, you know, kind of get back into the flow of things a little bit. We'll, we'll be good, um, you know, and, um, you know, we aren't going to necessarily change anything that, w- that we've done. We might tweak some things here and there, uh, and, and, you know, as far as, you know, X's and O's and, and defense and stuff like that. But, 
um, you know, our base stuff is in, and, and right now it's just a matter of getting, um, you know, as many reps as you can in practice and fine-tuning some things and, and uh, just going out and executing down the stretch here at every game. Coach, we appreciate the time. Let's go get them tonight. All right. Thanks, Rocky. More on Tiger pregame on the way next. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia reminds you that brutal winter days will soon be here. You're almost out of time to have your roof replaced before the cold weather season arrives. Roof work must be completed with daytime temperatures of at least 45 degrees in order to avoid long-term problems with adhesiveness. Learn more at GeislerRoofing.com. This is Dallas Hassenbeck and Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement has you covered with more than 38 years experience. Geisler Roofing and Home Did your family get some new toys for Christmas that require internet connection? Is your internet speed slowing down to a crawl? Now's the time to accelerate your home's internet speed with Pulse Internet from Twin Valley. Choose between the ability to download and upload 100 megabits per second or up to a gig. Visit the Twin Valley office in Clay Center or Miltonvale to find out if Pulse Internet is available where you live. Lead when it comes to speed with Twin Valley. Call 800-515-3311. For any concrete project you need for a residential driveway, basement, patio, or curb, you can count on Midwest Products to handle it. At every level of the job, you'll find a dedicated, skilled crew prepared to deliver a professional job. With state-approved plants in Hanover, Play Center, Lynn, and Washington, they can meet the needs of residential, commercial, or farm-related projects. For other ready-mix concrete work, give Midwest Products a call at 800-371-2252. If you haven't had one of your semi-trucks or trailers repaired at TSI Kansas in Clay Center, it's high time you put us to the test. We want to prove to you just how reliable we are at fixing any problems you might have with your diesel engine transmission, clutch, brakes, or lights. We have an extensive parts network at our fingertips, enabling us to cut your wait time and you'll find our prices fair. You'll be glad you made TSI your hometown diesel repair shop. We're located at 612 West Court Street in Clay Center. Clay Center Tigers getting set to face the Chapman Irish this evening at the 9-5 and five Irish team against the Clay Center Tigers who come off the loss to Smoky Valley game this year. Coach Gruber and I talked to you about just a couple of spurts early, kind of put them behind, and then the second half just got away from them, and the Tigers would end up with a 66-37 loss on the road. Now they take on an Irish team that uh, had a win against Play Center in the den. They got up to 17-1 start. That was after the first quarter. After eight minutes to play 17-1, you trail. So obviously a game that was tough to come back from. 71-50, they lose in that opening matchup. Isaac Jackson had the big game, 24 points for the Irish against Play Center in the den. Here it's the Tigers on the road in the NCKL. We'll look at your starting lineups, and we'll have the anthem, and we'll have a tip-off not far away from Chapman. Tiger basketball on KCLY is brought to you in part by Republican Valley Irrigation, Wilbur Ellis Reed Seed and Feed, Citizens National Bank of Play Center, Greenland, Concordia, and Belleville, by Subway of Play Center, Blue Valley Telecommunications, Midwest Regional Agency, Jim Gearham, Walsh to Value Appliance and Lumber, TSI Kansas Play Center, United Bank and Trust, and Central Valley Ag. Life changes, then it changes again. Predicting the unexpected in life is impossible. That's why it's called unexpected. So when it comes to your financial goals, our philosophy is don't predict, prepare. I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Carrie Spillman. A job loss, change in health, or loss of a loved one can have a big impact on your family's financial security. Let's work together to help make sure you're equipped for life's unexpected events. Stop by our office at 701 4th Street for a face-to-face appointment. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Here at RW Pest Control, being locally owned and operated means taking pride in our community and being thankful to serve and support the areas where we grew up. Our priority is protecting your home or business against the threat of unwanted pests and rodents. We know you'll be happy with our service, and you may be surprised by how much we can save you. RW Pest Control is a proud supporter of the Clay Center community and Tiger Athletics. Call us today for your free estimate or visit us online at rwpestcontrol.com. At United Bank and Trust, we get it. Bank hours don't always fit into your schedule. With the United Bank and Trust mobile banking app, you can bank anytime, anywhere. At home, at work, or anywhere in between. 
can perform convenient and secure transactions like mobile check deposit, transfer money between accounts, or see your balance instantly. Find it by searching for United Bank & Trust mobile app in your app store. Mobile banking with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Place your order now for next spring's crops and save a bundle. Count on Crop Production Services of Clay Center for the best quality corn and soybean seed. Their proven brands include DeKalb, Asgro, Dynagro, Producers Hybrids, and LG. If you order now, you can take advantage of early cash and volume discounts, and they also have financing available. The agronomists at CPS stay current on the ever-changing field of seed technology, so they can provide well-informed advice to help increase your productivity. Back again at Chapman. We're shooting look at the starting lineups. We'll start with the Play Center Tigers who come on the road here against the Chapman Irish, starting with Nate Livey, six foot senior. Where's number two? 13.6 points a game, four boards a contest. He had 17 against Chapman in the first meeting. Connor Last, six two senior, six point five boards over five rebounds a contest. He wears number three. He had ten in that ball game. Anthony Atkinson in the king averaging twenty a game, seven and a half boards. The six four senior wears number ten. He had twelve against Chapman. Brigham Glaze, almost six points a game, nearly four boards. The 6'1 senior wears number 20. He had seven against the Irish in the first meeting. And Gavin Siebold, 6'1 senior, wears number 31. He averages right at three points a game and over four rebounds a contest. For the Chapman Irish, it will be Taylor Warner, a 6'3 sophomore. Isaac Jackson, 6'5 junior, a great player, great athlete in football. And here on the basketball floor, if you uh, follow... The NCKO, you know that name, Isaac Jackson. He had 24 against the Tigers in the first meeting. Zach Lloyd is a uh, senior. He's got 13 uh, against the Tigers in the first meeting. Anthony Walsic is uh, 9 points. He is a 5'9 junior. And Brandon Holston, a 6'2 junior, had 8 points in that first matchup. Tigers at Chapman on a tip-off Tuesday. We're just about to tip off when we come back. Here at RW Pest Control, being locally owned and operated means taking pride in our community and being thankful to serve and support the areas where we grew up. Our priority is protecting your home or business against the threat of unwanted pests and rodents. We know you'll be happy with our service, and you may be surprised by how much we can save you. RW Pest Control is a proud supporter of the Clay Center community and Tiger Athletics. Call us today for your free estimate or visit us online at rwpestcontrol.com. The aroma of hickory smoked meats coming from the deli department at Ray's Apple Market is hard to resist. Follow the flavor and get a rack of ribs to go or order a meal to enjoy in their cozy dining space. Take your pick of hickory smoked ribs, chicken, brisket, or pork loin. Here at Ray's, it is our passion to give you, our customer, a pleasant, time-saving shopping experience while providing exceptional products at value prices with uncommon customer service. Thank you from our family to yours. Shop small, shop local. Just about set for tip-off here in Chapman, the place of the Tigers back on the road. I was talking about it during the Lady Tiger pregame, but for the boys as well, Road Warriors right now. The Hillsboro Tournament, you come right out of that Smoky Valley. Now you're in Chapman. Friday you go to Pellville, so a long time away from home. We're just about set for tip-off. The opening tip battle between Atkinson, Inneking, and Jackson, and it is picked up by the Irish and then knocked to the bounds by Atkinson, Inneking, off the hands of uh, Ants after he knocks it away from Anthony Walsick. Just underway, it'll be Chapman with the basketball, Clay Center in a man-to-man. Here's Jackson with it against Atkinson, Inneking. Warner has it right and deep against Seabull. Clay Center in that man-to-man. Backdoor look, Jackson a little too hot on the bounce pass, went up and over his intended receiver, and Play center will have the opening possession, forcing the turnover on that first defensive look. Nate Libby brings it across. Ants, Waves, Seabold, and Last out there. And it's his own defense by Chapman, expected by the Tigers. Hunter Last, right wing. Dribble drive, stop. Now lobs it back out deep to Glaives. Brigham holds there with just the 30 seconds into this opening quarter. Brigham, bounce pass off to Seabold. In the corner, it goes to Libby. Nate. Dribble penetrates, kick up top. Glaves will look for three, just strong. Long rebound in the corner. Ant tracks it down, but they say he just stepped on the out-of-bounds line before he jumped up into the stands to save it back in. And an early timeout by Coach Drew Gruber. We'll break as well. You're listening to Tiger Basketball on 100.9. Athletics have been a mainstay of the high school scene for decades. Although many students get involved in sports simply for the love of the game, there are great benefits from participating. Our young athletes learn the fun of teaching.
team rivalries, and revel in the satisfaction of the job well done for their school. This feeling of community and the honor of representing the home team gives them a sense of pride that they will carry with them well beyond high school. Here's to a great winter sports season, Tigers, from your fans of Clay County National Bank, member FDIC. Chapman was a basketball out of the Tiger timeout, just uh, less than a minute into this opening quarter. Now a triple team down inside on Warner. He's in trouble. Gets it back out deep in the corner to Colston. Around right, they swing it to Zach Loy. Out top is Walsic. In the corner left now, Colston backs it out. He'll try the three ball. It's short. Rebound off to Nate Leiby. He's pressured by Loy. Leiby will bring it himself. Now the board comes to Ants as they cross the timeline. To the corner left is Seabolt. And trying to cut through the lane. Now they look inside the paint. They lob it toward him. Up for grass. Kick out right wing. Last. Connor leans in the paint. A lot of contact. No foul call. Ball loose on the ground. And Chapman comes out of there with it. Down court quickly. Jackson. Manola Bucket is taken away by Brigham Blaze. Tigers headed back down the floor. Here's Livey against Warner. Blocking foul. And Nate Livey's headed to the stripe to shoot two. The Tigers. Good defensive stop in transition. Blaze the steal. They got out and ran it in a hurry. And then the uh, strong drive inside by Livy, and he draws the foul. First free throw on its way for Nate the Great. It's just strong, so he'll have one more coming. No score as of yet. 6.22 to work first quarter. Tigers on the road here against the Irish. Chapman comes in 9-5 and five on the year. The Tigers 3-10 and 10 right now, and Nate Livy knocks in that second free throw. Back down court quickly. Colston backs up for the three, then dribble drives, and then a foul as he takes it into the mid lane against the Tigers. Basketball goes out of bounds to Chapman on the baseline. Lady Tigers did win earlier. They're 13 and 1 now. They won 50 to 28 over the Irish. Lob out, deep right wing. Colston guarded by Libby. Now near the half court stripe, they get it out deep to Walsic. Junior goes right side wing. Colston spins by Leiby. Now fires in the corner of deep left. Zach Loy for three. It rattles in. Caught the back of the iron and hops up in the air and fell in softly after that. And the first points for Chapman. A three ball gives them a two-point lead. Back to a look from Ant outside Leiby. Good look for three. Left wing just strong. Rebound though to Connor Last. Here's Ant gets an inicky. He ball fakes it. Drives it. Fingertip roll. Yes. Ant man on the board. The Tigers tie it up at three apiece. Great ball fake to let him get a chance to get into the lane. Warner has it left wing and deep. Seabold out on him. Now he dribble penetrates. Stops by Seabold. Kick out to Jackson. Lob down to the paint. Shot up by Loy. No good. And the rebound comes off to Atkinson in kick. Chapman back defensively. So the Tigers will set the half court offense. And Ants blocked with the basketball. He'd gone behind the back. He kind of stopped. Was going to make the pass deep right side. It just kind of took an extra. Step the official right on top of the play. Makes the call. 3 3 tie. Now Jackson down inside. They beat the Tigers down the floor. Misses the chippy with the rebound to Warner. Now he'll attack. Shot in the lane up and good. Taylor Warner gets his first bucket. It's a 5 3 Chapman lead. Tigers back with the basketball. Blades in the front court. Double team. Dribbles against Jackson looking for a foul. Doesn't get it. Now Zach's the other way. He will commit the foul. And Jackson goes to the free throw stripe. Frustration by Brigham Glaves after he had been bumped around the midcourt line, lost the basketball, and then the possession headed the other way on the runout. He fouled to stop the easy lay in, and Jackson at the stripe had to shoot two. 6 5 juniors, first free throw is strong. Tigers trail by a bucket, 453 left first quarter. Did get a couple of finals in, I can pass along. Marysville Bulldog girls winning over Riley County. It was a 61-35 final, so Marysville girls, big win. Concordia big over Pike Valley, and also Abilene able to get the win in their matchup tonight against Flamigo. Nate Livey runs into a crowd and turns the basketball over. Just took it too deep into the post and into two defenders. Actually, a third defender stepped up, and so the turnover gives it right back again to Chapman. Place it down by a 5-3 margin. Irish back down the court. Loy hit a three earlier. Doesn't take this one back outside. Baltic now to Jackson, nearing the midway point of this opening period. Deep with it out top is Lovett. Lovett, 6 7 and a junior. Lob inside the lane, taken away by Connor Last. Three on two numbers. Last for the paint. All the way to the glass goes Boomer, and we're tied at five apiece. 
Ball stick back to the way for Chapman. Stops out on the wing. He's used his dribble. Now to Jackson in the corner. He's got the key hold on him. Loy attacks the paint. His lane is good with the left hand. Zach Loy has five early. Tigers trail seven to five. Midway point, first quarter. Four minutes left in this opening period. Atkinson and King looks at a double team and a little half court trap. Gets rid of it to Glaves. Now right wing Wybie. Lobbed to the post for Connor Last. Knocked out of bounds by Lovett. Coach Gruber said you try to duplicate this defense to work against it, but when they have six five, six seven, six three, it's really tough to, you know, show your team what that's gonna feel like making those passes against that one three one in particular. Here's last inside off the inbound speed and Connor last two straight field goals, and the Tigers knotted up again at seven apiece. 340 left, opening quarter. Lob towards the paint. Love it. Back to the bucket. Turns. He lost it on the way up. Blocked by Atkinson and Inky. Tigers have it back. And toward the lane. Takes it strong. He's fouled on the way in there. And looks like a running back waiting for his blockers to give him a scene. He was just kind of reading where the gap was going to be and finally made that spurt. And as he did so toward the rim, he was fouled before he had a chance to put it up on the glass. Here's a lob out top to last. In the corner, Dylan Swihart just in. Nate Leiby for two. And the Tigers have a lead. Nate the Great knocks it in. It's 9-7. to seven. Tigers by a bucket. To the post. Jackson top below the glass. His pass to the left sideline is run down by Folston. Now he dribble penetrates into the lane. Blocked by last. Rebound to Atkinson and Inicke. Nate Leiby on the move. Nate all the way to the window. Laying is strong. And then Connor last. Oh, we got a foul before the rebound. They're going to get, I think, Isaac Jackson on the foul as Nate Leiby was taking it to the glass straw. And it is on Isaac Jackson of Chapman. The whistle came a little later than I was expecting. I thought there was a bump. They didn't call it. First foul on Jackson. He'll come to the sideline. The Tigers, a two-point lead and the basketball. They're up 9-7. to seven. And Nate Leiby trying to lob it on the sideline to Dylan Swihart. It's just thrown away. Tigers turned it over and head back the other direction. 3.05 left first quarter. Tigers up 9-7. Chapman will walk it up the floor. Walsick with the basketball as he brings it through the timeline, guarded by Swihart. Around the left it comes to Colston. Now love it out deep between the rings. 6-7 junior. Wants nothing to do with it away from the basket. Now goes to post up. Left side wing. Warner for three. It's down. And Chapman leads it by one. Taylor Warner has five. 10-9 now. Atkinson in the king brings it up. They work it toward the lane. Now slides his way to the glass of the lane is good and has four. And the Tigers down by one. Avoided contact, got into the paint, lifted it up off the glass. Now Warner again for three, his second in a row. And a timeout taken by the Tigers' sideline. Play center trails by a bucket. Call that a two, maybe. 13-11, Tigers down by two. You're listening to Tiger Basketball at PCLY. Great taste, fresh ingredients, lots of menu choices, all made to order with fast and friendly service. It all adds up to Subway, the one place where you can build your own meal exactly the way you like it. Subway and Clay Center is proud to sponsor CCCHS athletes. And whether you're heading to the game or getting ready to hit the road for home, the crew at Subway looks forward to seeing and serving you. Tiger fans in Subway, a winning combination. 219 remains first quarter. Tigers uses their second time out. Uh, Coach Kruver saying, hey, Taylor Warner just knocked down a three. Somebody's got to get a hand out there, so... Quick timeout call. Tigers down by just two, 13-11. Remember, they fell 17-1 after one quarter in Clay Center against this Irish team. Here's Glaves, wing right, Libby fakes the three, puts the dribble down, in through a double team, and now loses it away. Chapman headed the other direction. Zach Loy with his baseline, stops. Now gives it off of the lane. Nate Libby the steal and the run out. Nate the great on the move down the court, laying up and good. And the Tigers have tied it at 13 apiece. Libby now with five. Here's Warner the other direction to the lane, and he takes it up strong and finishes. He now has 10 first quarter points. The Tigers trail 15-13. Atkinson in king. Behind the back. Slide his way in the paint. Kick across lane. Blast. Block from behind. A lot of contact. No fouls called. And then the deflection. He went back up for it. Couldn't grab it. He does lose it out of bounds. So Chapman has the basketball. The Tigers trail by a bucket. 
Malik Watkins in for the Irish. Tigers have Swihart, Livey, Last, Rosen out just checking in, and Atkinson in the game. So Chapman with the basketball. They also have a two-point lead. 15-13, a minute 23 left to go in this opening quarter. Zach Loy with it out deep. Further deep, Colston for three. No. Rebound, Livey. State brings it down. Tigers a chance to tie or with a three ball would take the lead back. Throws it out. One of those guys who can certainly knock him down from three has it. Now to Swihart to last. Honor back out deep to Dillon. Swihart around right. It comes to Rosenau. Evan. Ball takes a couple of times. Now toward the right wing. Baseline. It goes to Livey. He's got a double team on him. Steps through it. Gets to the paint. Here's Atkinson. Any king from the free throw strike. No. The rebound off to Isaac Jackson. It will be Watkins to Jackson. Warner's hit two threes already. His third and nobody out on him. He has 13 first, half, first quarter points with 30 seconds remaining, and the Tigers now down by five. 18-13. Atkinson and King. Double team comes at him. Dribbles into it. Now gets it to Rosenau. Around left to Swihart. And a kick pass is going to be called against Chapman. It will stay with play center, and they'll give it to them on the baseline right of the window. 18.9 to work. Tigers down by five, but with the basketball here. Swihart lobs it out deep. Atkinson in a keep. 17, backs it out to last. Right side wing is Livey. Skip pass, Atkinson and King. Ants back out deep for Livey, down to eight. Now seven. Livey, right sideline, turns the corner, gets to the paint. Wild shot off last, no good. Rebound comes away to Chapman. Taken back by last. He will throw it up at the buzzer, and they'll say no good. It did come up short. Tigers trail 18-13 after one eight-minute period here in Chapman. We're back in just a moment. From sunup till sundown, we know your irrigation equipment needs to be as hardworking as you because we all know a farmer's job is never done. Valley is your strength in the field. We're the everyman brand. No matter your operational setup, we have the irrigation equipment and technology to move you forward. Valley products are built to last, easy to operate, and ahead of the curve. Durable, reliable, and built tough. This is Valley. See Republican Valley Irrigation or call 632 55 do you consistently have problems with your home Wi-Fi connection? Let Blue Valley Telecommunications help with our managed Wi-Fi program. With Blue Valley's managed Wi-Fi, technicians will provide you with a robust router, identify the best location for your router, and help configure all your devices to have the best experience possible. If your router malfunctions, we'll even replace it for free. Plus, we offer 24-7 technical support to manage and update your router, all for a small monthly charge. To learn more about Blue Valley's managed Wi-Fi program, visit our website at bluevalley.net or call us today. 13 here after one quarter. Tigers down by five. It will be play center's basketball to begin the second period. Also from around the area, we have Concordia boys up on Pike Valley, 50-31. That's at half. And after one quarter, Wamigo leads Abilene, 11-10. to 10. Here are the Tigers again down by five, but they do have the basketball to begin the second quarter. Rosenau, Swihart, Atkinson, and Kings, Livey last on the floor for the Tigers. Rosenau, left sideline to Swihart. Corner left, Livey looking in low. Now goes to a double team, bounce pass inside, and Ant goes up and drops it in. Off the glass and good for two. Great feed from Nate the Great, and the end man makes it a three point ball game, 18 15. Outside is Warner. He had three threes in the first quarter and now has 13 points in this half already. We just started the second period. To the corner right is Jackson. Jackson out deep for ball six. Still put the dribble down. Swihart on him. Now to Loy. Around left is Colson. To the post. Jackson. Backs it in against Atkinson. And he gets rid of it. It's lobbed out deep for Warner. Almost thrown away by Waltick. Warner does have it. Warner at 6-3. A sophomore has knocked down three trays already in this half. Here's Jackson again down to the post. Takes it up and can't get it down. Has his own rebound. Kick out top. Warner again for three. Not this time. Rebound tipped around, picked up by Evan Rosenau. 6.48 remains in this opening half. The Tigers down by three with the possession. Atkinson, and a king to the glass and good. And it's a one-point ball game. Ant now has eight. There has not been, uh, there's been three fouls called against Chapman, two against the Tigers. 
Warner outside to Colston around right. It goes to Loy. Now inside is Jackson, and it's swatted by Atkinson in a king. A lot of basketball, but a foul is going to be called. They call this actually underneath a region on Swihart, not on the block up top by Ant. So at the free throw line is Isaac Jackson to shoot two. He missed his first two, makes the first one here. Has one more coming. 19-17, Chapman by two, 624 remains, second fourth. So a regal in for the first time for the Irish. Second free throw from Jackson is also in. He has his first two points. Tigers with the basketball down by three, 620 left, second quarter. Atkinson in the king across to Swihart. Double team to the corner, Libby. Nate, lob down low, trying to go inside to last. Tough pass to make over the 6-3 Warner. Long down court pass, Jackson. What a catch in traffic and the finish. He has four and the lead back to five. Atkinson in the king. Out top behind the back. Now turns and spins towards the lane. A big collision. Blocking foul on Warner of Chapman. Ant's able to get by Jackson and Warner sliding over the contact from the side and a blocking foul against the Irish. 22-17, and the foul on Warner is his second. It's good news for Clay Center. The guy put 13 on the board in the first period. Nate Livey will inbound from the baseline. Livey, left wing, throws it now. Back in the corner, Livey for three. Yes! Nate the Great knocks in the triple. He now has eight points in the game, and the Tigers right back with it, too. Zach Loy in the corner right. They lob to the post. Tap away by Livey, but it's run down by Jackson of Chapman. 22-20. Irish lead the Tigers by two. Here's Regal outside. Ball fake. Hands off to Loy. He's used his dribble. Corner right. Jackson starts to drive it. Atkinson in a king drop. Stops him off. Here's Walsic out top. The lob to the post. Taken up in the lane and dropped in by Lovett. 6-7 junior with his first point. 24-20. Tigers trail by four. Back with the basketball. And Atkinson in a king. Called for the travel for the second time. Kind of an open space. He doesn't think he's traveled. The official saying he drug, drug a pivot foot. Here's Jackson. Baseline against Ann. Back out top it goes to Zach Lloyd. In the corner right is Jackson again. 24-20. Tigers trail by four. Five minutes left first half. Walsic for three. No. Rebound. Nate Leiby brings it down. The Tigers have it back. Down by just four. Leiby across the timeline. Now through two defenders. Corner right. Swihart pulls a guard. It's fade away. No. Rebound. Weak side. Leiby. Nate, reverse lay, and he's fouled and headed to the free throw line. Nate has eight points in this first half. The Tigers can cut into the two-point lead here at the stripe. And the foul on Love in his second, so the 6'7 junior is going to have to come out. So it'll be two free throws, though, for the Tigers with 444 remaining second quarter. First charity on its way is good. By Livey, he has nine. And the Tigers are within three. So Lovett comes out with that second foul. Zach Loy also comes out. In will come Colston and Malik Watkins. Nate Livey, second free throw, rims off. The rebound away to Colston. The Chapman leads by three. Tigers though battling here. 440 to go. We're in the second quarter. Three-pointer left wing. No good. Long rebound to the sideline. Colston cracks it down. Now Watkins in the faint. He goes to the corner. Colston for three. No. Long rebound, another chance for Chapman. Regal the offensive board, and back out deep it comes with 4.23 to go first half, and the Tigers down 24-21. Watkins has it, right sideline. Now back out deep for Wasik. He will give it off right on the wing to Regal. Nearing the midway point, second quarter, Tigers down by three. To the post, Colston. Lobs it down inside, Connor last denies, and does knock it out of bounds. It will stay with the Irish on the baseline. No Regal to inbound. No, excuse me. They'll put Anthony Falsic down there into Jackson. Out to Regal. Back on the wing left. Dribble drive and a foul on Dylan Swihart. A blocking foul. It's the fourth team foul against the Tigers. Five whistled against Chapman here in the half. Clay center down 24-21. Close one here. Midway point. 
second period. Swihart out, picks up his second foul. Brigham Glaives is back in. Regal will inbound it. Lobs it out deep. Watkins beyond the arc to the baseline. Left Colston now with it against last. Stops double team. Lobs it way out deep. Regal attacks the lane. Pulls up just inside the free throw stripe and buries it. Noah Regal, 5'10 sophomore. Puts the Irish up by five now. 26 21. Here's Atkinson in case. Last has a look for three. Short. Last, Livy, though, in the lane. Has the board and it blocked by Isaac Jackson. Chapman back with it. They lead by five. Here's Colston. Hesitation move. Backs it out. Jackson at the point. 323 left first half. Tigers down 26 21 to the Chapman Irish. Left on the wing, Regal. Back outside, Walsick around to Watkins. Down the corner it goes, short corner right, Colston lobbed inside to Jackson. He'll take it up in the paint, and he's got another bucket. His second field goal, he has six, and the Tigers now trail 28-21. What Atkinson and Inking across the timeline to the post, and an offensive foul called against the Tigers. Anthony Atkinson, Inking, Isaac Jackson there to receive the charge. And has been able to avoid contact for the most part, and what there has been, it's been a foul against the defense. This time, Jackson was able to step over and get in position to draw the charge. 248 remains first half. Tigers now down by seven. Chapman again back with the basketball. Watkins, left side wing, Jackson. Man to man by the Tigers. Regal against Rosenau. Left side wing, Pulse looks at a three, doesn't take it. Last is out there. Now back right, it comes to Walsic. And we have an offensive foul and a legal screen call against Chapman. And the Tigers will get it back. Down by 7, 28-21. 2.29 remains. Malik Watkins called for his first foul. Teams 6 for Chapman. Nearing halftime here, 2.25 remains in the second. Tigers trail by 7. Big possession. Do not let this get to double digits or in that area after they've had a couple of empty trips offensively. Pass from Rosenau. Atkinson and Inky has it knocked away. Now to the sideline. It's going to go out of bounds. Two play center on the sideline near the baseline. 2-11 remains first half. 28-21. Chapman with that lead. Tigers have the basketball. Nate Leibel inbounded. Right in front of the Chapman mascot and right in the corner on the sideline. Now last pass is taken away by Zach Roy and the foul called on Evan Rose. And now it's a good foul. It stops what was likely a fast break bucket. It's just the sixth Team foul, his first, and so the basketball out of bounds, but an unfortunate turnover by the Tigers offensively. 2.07 left second quarter. Balsic walks into the front court, guarded by Brigham Glaves. Lefty comes to Jackson. Atkinson indicating the assignment there, now to Regal. Under two to work, first half. Colson, dribble drive, jump stop, kick out to Jackson, now at the top. Loy takes it to the lane, blocked by last, tip up, no. One more shot in the paint, and this time Zach Loy gets it in. He has seven, and now the Tigers are down by nine. 30-21. Atkinson in the to Nate Livey in the front court. Now drives towards the paint. Baseline right. Glaives, good look at two, and he splashes one in. First bucket of the night for Brigham Glaives, and now Chapman, Coach James Bell wants the timeout. We'll break as well. You're listening to Tiger Basketball on KCLY. A message from Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia. Is your home properly insulated to keep the cold outside and keep your energy bills affordable? Geisler Roofing offers several insulation solutions, including spray foam, rolled, and blown-in insulation. Learn more at GeislerRoofing.com. This is Dallas Hasselbank, and Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement has you covered with more than 37 years' experience. Thirty twenty three ball game. Tigers hanging around here. They had Chapman going one on one. Get up by nine. Then the answer from Brigham Glaives in the corner. Now the Irish do have it back in a thirty twenty three ball game. A minute twenty nine left. In the first half. Back Roy into Walsic, who will bring it up the floor for the Irish. They lead the Tigers thirty to twenty three. In the corner right is Colston. Out deep to Roy. Regal, Walsic, and Watkins on the floor right now for Chapman. Tigers in a zone defense this trip down. Left on the wing is Loy. 
Back outside Watkins, a minute five left. Now Walsic for three, and he's got it down. That is the fifth three-pointer knocked in by the Irish in his first half. Libby, and this pass taken away by Colston. Lobbed down the court, Watkins. Saves it back in bounds. Connor Lass has it. Connor, a race to the other end. And takes it in. Strong. Blocked from behind. Foul called. Connor Lass headed to the free throw stripe. He had four first quarter points. Now a chance to head to the line. So Walsic with the three puts the fifth three pointer of the half in for Chapman. They lead by 10. 33 23. Connor last at the stripe, shooting two. First free throw, good. He's got five. And the 46 to work, second quarter. Tigers have Rosen out, Glaves, Libby, Atkinson, Inniking, and at the free throw stripe, Connor last. Made the first, misses on the second short, the rebound away to Chapman. 33 24, Tigers trailing by nine. 38 to work, first half. Colston, out between the circles to Regal. Now to Loy, out deep to Watkins near the timeline. Left it comes to Colston, under 30 to work. Chapman trying to work clock down with that nine-point advantage. Skip left to Colston. 21 seconds left. Here's Watkins out deep. Tigers stay man-to-man, staying strong. 15 to work. Chapman not looking at a bucket as of yet. Now Watkins to the corner right. Loy takes the three, doesn't take it down to 10. Walsic brings it out. Eight. Now seven. Dribble penetrate. Into the lane. Tipped by Atkinson. Anything picked up by Flyby. Flyby from half court fires. It's worth a ring and catches the front rim as we head to halftime. Chapman leads it. Tigers down by nine at the break. 33-24 when we come back. The cooperative spirit drive. Central Valley Air. Energy League. Hey, field. And they help everyone work together. I like my cooperative. It's scary. Bounce everybody else in the can. Elevator Superintendent Tony Krause sees it and everyone involved in the cooperative. I see people that are genuine, honest, uplifting, caring. Location managers like Doug Eisenmaker lead their team to the cooperative spirit. It's not what I can do, it's not what you can do, but it's what we can do together. You and Central Valley and Agriculture together. Hi, this is Maribeth Connor from the Citizens National Bank. Don't fall victim to the fraud that is happening all around. It may come in the form of an email, a phone call, or something received in the mail. Remember, if you're ever contacted and asked to send money or to give your personal information, do not do it. If you have concerns about something you have received, bring it in and we'll take a look at it with you or contact the authorities to alert them as to what has taken place. Your safety is very important to us. The Citizens National Bank Downtown Play Center. Member FDIC. Angus Beef is known for superior taste in the certified Angus brand at Ray's Apple Market. Meets 10 exacting standards for marbling, tenderness, juiciness, and flavor. Take the confusion out of buying beef by looking for the certified Angus Beef label at Ray's Apple Market and get exceptional flavor every time. Here at Ray's, it is our passion to give you, our customer, a pleasant, time-saving shopping experience while providing exceptional products at value prices with uncommon customer service. Thank you from our family to yours. Shop small, shop local. It's a new year, so we've got new prices on models priced to sell. You know Wallace Tree Value is the leader in appliances for Clay County and beyond. And we're reinforcing that point by closing out some old stock to make room for another big load of scratch and hit from Whirlpool. Easy for me to say. So it's going to be amazing how far your dollars can stretch on your appliance purchase. And remember, we service what we sell. Not everyone can make that claim. So be aware. Wallace Tree Value, 423 Lincoln Avenue in beautiful downtown Clay Center. Open seven days a week for you. Back once again at halftime, the place that are Tigers trailing here against Chapman, 33-24. The biggest lead has been 10. The Tigers really nip and tuck through the midway point of the second quarter. Chapman stretched the lead a little bit, but it's been three pointers that are the big difference. Chapman has hit five threes compared to one for the Tigers in the first half. They lead it by nine at the break. Stay with us. We'll come back and look at scoring leaders from the first half. Tigers trailing Chapman 33-24 at halftime. 
Injuries can occur at inconvenient times, but Ortho On Call is there for you. The After Hours Injury Clinic at the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center is open Monday through Friday till 8 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday till 4 p.m. They can treat broken bones, strains and sprains, as well as small cuts or wounds with no appointment necessary. Ortho On Call provides an alternative to emergency rooms and urgent care, and they accept most insurances. Located at 1600 Charles Place in Manhattan, the greatest comebacks begin here. Take action now for a successful crop next year. At Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed and Feed, we're ready to help you plan for next season's feed control, moisture conservation, and fertilizer needs. For your plan, we'll utilize soil testing and variable seeding rates to come up with site-specific fertilizer and seed systems. Now is a good time to establish your fertilizer and chemical program for productive crops in 2018. Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed and Feed, we offer customized solutions to help your crop thrive. In this risky market, does your farm have the protection it needs? Farmers Union Insurance is committed to providing our farm families with complete insurance solutions for every operation, large or small. We have products to cover everything from crops to combines, homes to barns, autos to auto steering your tractors. Our products will help manage your risk and keep you protected from the unknown. Give me, Jim Gearhan, a call at 632-3264 or stop by our office at 426 Lincoln Avenue in downtown Clay Center. We are proud to support the Tiger Athletics. Fun socks are not just for kids anymore. Meet Dr. Motion. He'll give you, your feet, and your legs a whole new perspective. Dr. Motion compression socks will brighten your day, so why not get a different colorful pair for every day of the week? They're so lively, you'll want to show them off. Come into Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy and find a brand new shipment of Dr. Motion compression socks designed with mild and moderate compression. You'll have happy feet and legs with Dr. Motion from Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Clay Center. We'll look at scoring leaders here from this first half. The Clay Center Tigers trailing the Chapman Irish in a 71-50 ball game. Tigers see uh, Taylor Warner 13 points. That was all first quarter scoring. First eight minutes, Warner had three trays, had two two-point field goals, 13 in the game. Seven points for Zach Loy, six from Isaac Jackson. A three ball knocked in by Anthony Walsick. Two points each from Noah Regal and uh, Levitt. Again, the... Uh, Tigers trail 33-24 to the Chapman Irish. And like I said, they do have five three-pointers. Uh, Loy and Walsick with one each. And then the three threes from Taylor Warner. Tigers get nine points from Nate Livey to lead the way. He knocked down the only three play center would hit in this uh, first half. Eight points from Anthony Atkinson, Inneke, Connor Last with five, and Brigham Glaves with two. And it was a big two. It cut the lead back to single digits there late in that second period. The Tigers have kind of gone on a bit of a drought. 33-24, Tigers trailing here at the halftime break. Stay with us. We'll have more on the way. We'll give you a look at what's coming up in the week ahead on KCOY, including uh, Thursday night wrestling, high school basketball Friday, and K-State Wildcat basketball Saturday. More details on that as halftime continues next. Whether you're buying, building, remodeling, or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Cooperative Spirit drives Central Valley Ag. Energy Leap, Payne Field, and it helps everyone work together. I like my cooperative. It's scary about everybody else in the can. to work towards the same goal. Elevator Superintendent Tony Krause sees it and everyone involved in the cooperative. I see people that are genuine, honest, uplifting, caring. Location managers like Doug Eisenmaker lead their team to the Cooperative Spirit. It's not what I can do, it's not what you can do, but it's what we can do together. You and Central Valley Ag together. Did your family get some new toys for Christmas that require internet connection? Is your internet speed slowing down to a crawl? Now's the time to accelerate your home's internet speed with Pulse Internet from Twin Valley. Choose between the ability to download and upload 100 megabits per second or up to a gig. Visit the Twin Valley office in Clay Center or Miltonvale to find out if Pulse Internet is available where you live. Lead when it comes to speed with Twin Valley. Call 800-515-3311. 
As a third generation seed company, Oldie Seed has pioneered the development of soil specific hybrids that thrive in your soils. Our Know to Grow research program is the largest in the Midwest and utilizes advanced technologies including Enlist, Extend, and Liberty Link soybeans. Oldie's research program delivers top yields while helping you win the war on resistant weeds. This season, don't settle for anything less than a soil specific seed from Oldie Seed. Again, here at the half, place under Tigers down 33-24, and a good one uh, at halftime. Tigers right in the mix here. If they can stop the Chapman Irish three-pointers from going in, they could have a real opportunity here against a 9-5 and Irish team on the road in the NCKL. Tigers looking for that first league win on the season. As mentioned, coming up this week, we'll have place under Tiger wrestling Thursday night at Abilene. That is going to start around 6 30 depending on when the JV matches and exhibition matches uh, wrap up. Then Friday night, Clay Center Tiger basketball back at it. They travel on the road to Belleville to face Republic County. K-State back at it on Saturday. It'll be a 2 o'clock pregame. They head to Morgantown to face Bob Huggins, West Virginia Mountaineers that tip off in at three. We are about a minute away from your second half. Stay with us. Tiger basketball will continue on BCLY. For any concrete project you need for a residential driveway, basement, patio, or curb, you can count on Midwest Products to handle it. At every level of the job, you'll find a dedicated, skilled crew prepared to deliver a professional job. With state-approved plants in Hanover, Play Center, Lynn, and Washington, they can meet the needs of residential, commercial, or farm-related projects. For other ready-mix concrete work, give Midwest Products a call at 800-371-2250. 52. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement in Concordia reminds you that brutal winter days will soon be here. You're almost out of time to have your roof replaced before the cold weather season arrives. Roof work must be completed with daytime temperatures of at least 45 degrees in order to avoid long-term problems with adhesiveness. Learn more at GeislerRoofing.com. This is Dallas Hassenbeck and Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement has you covered with more than 38 years experience. Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement got 33-24, Tigers down by nine as we head into the second half. A, a real opportunity here on the road in the league to uh, make a little charge. Let's see if they can get something started here to begin this third quarter. Anthony Atkinson, any King, Connor Last, Nate Leiby, Gavin Siebold, and Brigham Glaves on the floor for the Tigers to begin this second session. Chapman with the basketball. They have... Isaac Jackson with it. Warner back out there. Colston, Moy, and Wofford on the floor for the Irish. Left wing, it comes to Colston. Just underway, third quarter. Zach Loy left alone for three. They hit five in the first half. Missing here for the long rebound. Now Walsing from way outside, and he buries his second of the game. He caught that about five feet outside the arc and just caught, set, shot, buried it. Now it's a 12-point ball game. Tigers down by... 36-34 margin. Blaze caught in a double team. Atkinson in a kick. Fakes the three. Now looks down to the corner left for Livy. Nate holds there. Stribble attacks. Ball knocked away. Last keeps it alive and knocks it off of Chapman out of bounds to the Tigers. So Livy will inbound. Tigers with the basketball below their own bucket. Their first look at the possession here in the second half. Jackson knocks away the inbound pass out of bounds. It does stay with play center on the sideline. Ant will bring it in play. Gets it to Glaves. In a zone defense by Chapman, 1-3-1. One, one. They really trap just about anywhere. Here's Atkinson. Any King slides in the lane and around a defender trying to draw the charge. And he drops it in. It's a 10-point ball game, 36-26. One minute into the third period, 6.55 remaining. Ball safety with that long three last time down, six points in the game. Both on threes. Chapman has hit six trays in this ball game. Here's Jackson, free throw line. Fakes it, then takes it. His long lay-in is up off the glass high and rims away. Nate Leiby breaks down the board. Leiby racing down the floor. Free throw line. Atkinson, any king for two. It's strong, and the rebound comes off to Colston. Balsic brings it the other way. Six and a half left, third quarter. Corner left, short corner, that is. Jackson back to the wing, Lloyd. Back outside, Walsey hit a long three, same range. This one rims off, rebound hit by Glaive, picked up by Warner. He is going to be fouled by Atkinson Inniking. And Taylor Warner had 13 first quarter points, 
Headed back to the free throw stripe here to shoot two. For Ant, his second foul. First whistle on either team in this third quarter. Warner's free throw up, and it is good. He has 14 now in the game. He had 10 against the Tigers in that first meeting. Isaac Jackson had the big night in play center. He scored 24. Tigers down by 11. Warner misses on the second. Gavin Siebold clears the board. Nate Livey's going to bring it. Up the right sideline now on the wing. Backs it out. 6-10 to work third quarter. Tigers trail by 11 with the basketball. Seabold, high post. Back to Denise. Right corner is last. Out of Glaze. Free ball. Yes! The high stepper knocks one down. He has five. And the Tigers right back within nine where they were at halftime. Big time bucket by Brigham Glaze, the senior. There's Colson out deep. He's used his dribble. Gets rid of it to Warner. Seabold on him. 5.45 remaining third period. Tigers trail 37-29. Friction an eight-point ball game after that three in by Glaze. Now it's Walsic inside, and he's going to be fouled. Well, Silk with the 5'9 junior is going to get to the strike to shoot two. And the foul is going to be called on the Tigers. The little guy got in there, was able to get the offensive board, took it up strong, drew the foul from Glaze. Well, Silk with the free throw up and good. He now has nine points, two three-pointers, and now one old-fashioned three, and the Tigers down by 11. 528 remains, third quarter. Glaves, high post to Atkinson, anything. Left corner, Livey for three. Yes! Nate the Great buries a triple, and the Tigers had a couple of straight three-pointers. The lead again back at eight points. 40-32 to 32 trailing here against the Irish. Last tries for the steal. Colston comes up with it. Now the wraparound pass from well, Silk to Isaac Jackson, who has his bucket down. So now we've got a warning on Chapman for catching the ball out of the net and not letting it roll for the Tigers to take out of bounds. So they get one warning. Jackson with that bucket has eight. Tigers down by 10, 5.03 to work. Concordia boys winning 83-50. Their matchup on the evening against Pike Valley. Here's Nate Livey, the runner, strong. Weak side rebound, Warner battles, picked up by Loy. 448 remaining, and now Nate Livey called for the bump as Loy was crossing the timeline. Nate just kind of hip checked him out of bounds, and the foul is called. It will be his second. Love it back in for the Irish. 445 left third quarter, 42 32. Tigers down by 10. It is Chapman's possession. Now they're making sure, I think, that they have the foul call on the correct. Uh, they're going to get the warning is what they're making sure. They called a warning against Isaac Jackson, who made the lay-in, and he grabbed the basketball and kind of took it away from the end line so that the Tigers couldn't quickly grab it and get it inbounds and up the floor, and so he was given a warning. Right side wing is Zach Loy. Out deep it comes to... Jackson. Well, Silk inside. Here's Lloyd. Dump pass in for Levitt. Slotted by Atkinson in a king, and a foul is going to be called. Boy, it looked like Ann had a lot of basketball on that one, but they're going to call the foul and put Levitt at the stripe to shoot two. And Ant debating the call. Two free throws coming for the big 6-7 junior for the Irish. First free throw on its way, and it's good. Lovett now has three points in the game. 43-32. Lovett, one more free throw coming. And he parries them both. He has four points. Tigers now down by 12, 44-32. That foul on Ant was his third. Now, take away out top by Jackson. He attacks the lane, goes up and slams it home, and they get a foul down low against the lane. And a chance at a three-point play for Isaac Jackson. In traffic, Jackson went up with a one-handed flush, drew the foul on the bump, and that's a three-point opportunity now for Isaac Jackson at the line for the Irish. And a timeout taken by Coach Drew Gruber. 421 remains third quarter, 46-32. Tigers fall behind by 14. Irish at the line when we return. 
Intensive sampling, various soil mapping, and variable rate application of fertilizers can improve the efficiency of nutrient management. CS Precision Ag can assess nutrient availability of different areas within a field and recommend the right product to improve your bottom line. New customers for the fall are currently being accepted at CS Precision Ag. They serve producers throughout North Central Kansas and South Central Nebraska. Contact Clayton Bott or visit them online at CSPrecisionAg.com Here at TSI Kansas, we'd like to say thank you to our customers for allowing TSI Kansas to serve you. And a special thanks to our drivers for their hard work and dedication, and to their families for their support and understanding. We know it takes all of these people to make us a great company. If you'd like to work for a company who cares about you and your family, call 632-5183. Ask for me, Heather. Check out our Facebook page or learn more about us at TSIKansas.com. Isaac Jackson at the free throw line. A chance at the old-fashioned three after the steal, the dunk. He was bumped from underneath. They called on Brigham Glaves, his third. And so Jackson at the line now to shoot the free throw after the two-point field goal. He now has ten points in the game. Strong on the free throw. Rebound, Atkinson, and he brings it away. In the backcourt with the dribble. Tigers down by 14, back with possession. Ant lobs it to the left wing, Glaze. In the corner is Livy. Nate, dribble drives, and he's fouled on the way into the lane. That's the first team foul on Chapman. Five have been whistled against the Tigers in this quarter alone, just four minutes into the second half. So the first foul called against Chapman gives place into the basketball on the baseline. Nate Livy will inbound. Looking in low, not there for Ant. Brings it outside to Blaves. Now Nate the Great to Brigham. Back to Lively. He wants the three ball left wing, and it just ripped off. Looked good. Wouldn't go down. Tigers trailing 46-32. Down court pass Colston to the post. Taken away by Nate Lively up the right sideline, and he's going to be fouled by Colston. So the Tigers get it back. Trailing 46-32. They trailed 33-24 at halftime. They had it to eight a couple of times. Chapman stretched it to double digits. Play center got it right back to eight two or three different times. And now the Irish lead by 14. Glaves through the midcourt. Nearly taken away by Jackson. Gets fine. Now it's loose. Picked up by Regal. And Chapman forces another turnover. 14-point Irish lead. They've got possession. 335 left third period. Well, Silk for another three, and that's his third of the game. And Will Silk can hit it from way downtown. It's 49-32. The Tigers have fallen behind by 17. And now working against that 1-3-1 one, one trap in the half court. Atkinson and King to Glaives. In the corner to Livy. Back to Glaives. Three ball on the way to answer. Yes! Brigham's second three of the half. He now has eight in the game. Tigers trail 49-35. Here's Regal out deep. But Silk holds it against Seabold between the circles. Now right on the wing, Regal. Last on him. Regal back out deep for Jackson. Marysville over Riley County, 35-15. That is a halftime score. 35-15, Marysville over Riley County. Halftime score at the boys' score. Marysville also in the girls' matchup. 240 remains, third quarter. Here's Jackson back to the bucket, takes it up inside. Wild reverse lay it, no good. Rebound comes off to the Tigers' Nate Livey. Nate all the way to the glass, hangs in the air, he's fouled. And Nate Livey headed to the free throw line. So it will be Nate Livey for the Tigers at the strike. He has 12 points in the game. 229 left, third quarter. Free throw up and short by Libby. He is now two for five at the line tonight. Has 12 points as mentioned in the game. Foul was on Love at his third for the Irish. Libby's second free throw. This one's good. 13 points tonight for the senior. Nate Libby. Tigers trail by 13, 225 remaining. See if they can cut it down to single digits again. Near steal by Atkinson in a game. That's a travel on Chapman. He forces the turnover. Love it. Had to go to the ground to pick it up. And once he did, stepped back to his feet. And that's a travel against the Irish. Tigers have it back down by 13. Evan Rosenau, Dylan Swihart will check in as 
Seabolt and Glaves come off. 218 left, third period. Tigers trailing 49 36 with the basketball. Swihart with it. Right side lines are Rosen now. Evan back left to Swihart. Looks in the corner left. Left. Connor lobs it back out deep. Swihart, good catch. Now a double team comes at him. Back left. Livey makes the three. He was actually lobbing it inside towards Connor last. Knocked out of bounds off of Chapman. Play center keeps the basketball. Isaac Jackson back in for the Irish. 49-36. Two minutes remains. Third quarter. Tigers down by 13, but they have possession. Here's Swihart. That 1-3-1 one, one for Chapman really can cause problems with all the links they have on the floor. Connor last call for an offensive charge. For a great, strong dribble drive to the paint. And then he took it up, made it, but they're going to wave that off and call the offensive foul on last. That's Connor's first foul. A minute 50 left, third period. Zach Lloyd brings it across. Jackson to Warner. Warner has a three threes in his first quarter. Now Lloyd to Warner. Another look at three for Warner. That's his fourth of the game. And a timeout taken by Chad. Minute 36 to work, third period. 52-36. 52-36. It's Chapman now with the lead when we come back. If the thought of applying for a loan makes you break out in a sweat, results in itching, redness, or fainting, it's time to see your doctor. Or you could just call a loan officer at Union State Bank. Our loans are designed to be pain-free, and we're always looking out for our customers' financial health. We offer a variety of loan products, such as consumer, commercial, agricultural, auto, and mortgage to help meet your needs. Our loans are done in-house, no shots required, and they're on call for you. Come see us at Union State Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. 52-36, a minute 36 left, third quarter. Tigers have the basketball back, but another three. The fourth of the game for Taylor Warner, although the first three-pointer he's hit since the first quarter. He had three trays in that first period. Dylan Swihart brings it down for the Tigers. Lob to the corner right, Nate Livey, fairly by 16. High post, Atkinson, anything. Takes it in low, last, foul call. Connor to the strike. He'll have a chance to shoot two. Minute 23 remaining, third quarter. Second foul on Isaac Jackson. And Connor last gets a chance for two free throws. And misses on the first of two. Watkins plus Silk back in for the Irish. Tigers trailing a minute 23 to work third quarter, 52-36. On her last, missed the first, misses the second, just short. Atkinson in king reaches in, ties it up with Warner on the rebound, and the arrow does favor Clay Center. They'll keep it on the baseline. Good heads up play by Atkinson in king. A minute 22 to work third quarter. Nate Leiby will bring it in bound. They lob it in toward Ant. He saves it to Rosenau. Takes the three back out deep for last. Now to Swihart. And a kick against Chapman. It'll be out of bounds to the Tigers. Leiby will inbound. Swihart, Rosenau, last, and Atkinson in king on the floor. Here's Swihart in the corner right. Double team. Leiby way downtown for three is good. He has 16 now, and the Tigers right back within 13 points. That's his third three of the game. Now, while Silk to answer, no, it's short. Rebound comes away to Connor Last. Nate Leiby will bring it up. Long down court pass, Swihart in the corner. Takes it, free throw line, Atkinson, and he can go strong. No, gets his own rebound right back up and good, and it's an 11-point ball game. Atkinson in the game now with 11, with 12 in the game. The Tigers trail by 11, 38 to work, so they have made a little mini run. They trailed by nine and a half. They've trailed by as many as 16, but now back within 11. Chapman with the basketball, 30 seconds to work. Zach Loy has it deep left. Back out to Lasilk, 23 left in this third. Dribble drive, cut off, ball nearly taken away, and we've got a foul, whistle late, and it goes against. Oh, it's on Atkinson. Anything is fourth. They're trying to pressure and come up with a steal and ends up with the foul call. They'll have to come out with 19 seconds to go third quarter. Gavin Seabold back in. This is a one-and-one coming for 
Chapman. It will be a silk at the stripe. It's one for one at the line tonight. Free throw up and free throw good. Two for two and one more charity coming. 53-41. Tigers trail by 12. Well, Silk misses, and Evan Rosen now brings it down. His outlet pass, Slyhart, he's bumped. That's the 15 foul now against the Irish. 16 seconds to work here for the Tigers, down by 12, nearing the th- end of the third quarter. The Tigers will have it. Well, Silk picks up his second. Nate Livey with 15, picks it up to the backcourt. Watkins pressuring, brings it across. 10. Now right sideline, kicked out of bounds. Tigers will inbound with 8.8 seconds left here in the third. Nate Livey to bring it in play. Lobs it to the corner. Swihart starts to dribble drive. Cut off. Back to Livey. Long three ball. Another one down. Nate the Great has cut this lead back to nine. Warner from half court for three. We're headed to the final quarter. Tigers fell behind by 60, but they're back within nine as we head to the final period. 53-54. Chapman leads it. Tiger basketball continues next. Oh, my arm. What happened? I tripped, landed on my wrist. I was turning purple. Let's call ortho on call to get you in right away. That's not going to happen. It's a doctor's office, not an emergency room. Ortho on call can get you in quick and replaces expensive emergency room visits. They're open weekdays till 8 p.m. and weekends till 4. Oh, the bone's not sticking out. It's probably fine. Don't touch it. It's tender. Call the ortho on call clinic in Manhattan for all your injuries, big or small. The greatest comebacks begin here. For quality and cost-efficient semi-truck and trailer repair service, bring it to TSI Kansas. We're able to perform a broad spectrum of diesel repairs. Our goal is to gain customers that will be customers for life. We take pride in the trustworthy technicians and staff that mirror our company's philosophy. We offer high-end equipment that helps to diagnose issues promptly so that we're able to repair them while minimizing your downtime. Get your fleet maintenance and equipment repair done at the company that cares. TSI Kansas and Clay Center. Big three-pointers from Nate Leiby late in that third. And long bombs, one with five seconds left. to got the lead back to single digits. Eight minutes left. Chapman does open the, with the basketball to begin the fourth quarter. Isaac Jackson trying to go to work inside. Will still for three out top. No. Rebound. Tip out to the sideline. Off of Chapman. Clay Center has it back. Dylan Swihart, Nate Leiby, Evan Rosen out. Connor Last, Gavin Siebold on the floor with the Tigers. Down by nine, but back again with the basketball as we begin this fourth quarter. Evan Rosen now has it out near the timeline. Ball fakes it a couple of times, puts the triple left. Now gets rid of it off to Swihart. Gets that zone, one three one zone. You have to come meet the basketball. Ball fake it, sharp passes. Rosen now attacks with a dribble out to Livey again for three. He's been hot. This one tipped. Rebound, Seabolt blocked from behind. Long down court pass picked up by Colston. He will stop. He has used his dribble and kicks it out deep now to Wasilk, and he throws it away. Tigers get it back. Atkinson, anything will return. Picked up his fourth foul late third quarter. So he's back in the game. The Tigers down just nine, but still 7 7 to go in this contest. Swihart brings it up the floor. Double teamed. Out deep to Rosen now. Now to Atkinson, anything. Attacks with the dribble. Swihart. To the corner. Connor last. Ball fake. Now it's nearly taken away, and it is tipped and now taken by Zach Lewis. Back to the way. Colston wants the three in the corner, and it's good. And Chapman has thrown it in from beyond the arc by a lot of people tonight. And now the lead is back out to a dozen, 56 44. Frozen out. Lob to the top of the key. This is Atkinson and Inky. Back left. Frozen out. Makes the three. Corner left, Libby. His skip pass going to be knocked away. Roy's going to take it to the glass. He has the lane, and now the Tigers fall behind by 14. Tough start to the fourth quarter for the Tigers. They trail now 58-44. Stay with us. Tiger basketball will continue. For any concrete project you need for a residential driveway, basement, patio, or curb, you can count on Midwest products to handle it. At every level of the job, you'll find a dedicated, skilled crew prepared to deliver a professional job. 
With state-approved plants in Hanover, Play Center, Lynn, and Washington, they can meet the needs of residential, commercial, or farm-related projects. For other ready-mix concrete work, give Midwest Products a call at 800-371-2252. If you haven't had one of your semi trucks or trailers repaired at TSI Kansas in Clay Center, it's high time you put us to the test. We want to prove to you just how reliable we are at fixing any problems you might have with your diesel engine, transmission, clutch, brakes, or lights. We have an extensive parts network at our fingertips, enabling us to cut your wait time and you'll find our prices fair. You'll be glad you made TSI your hometown diesel repair shop. We're located at 612 West Court Street in Clay Center. Once again, back with you here from Chapman, the Clay Center Tigers, trailing 58-44 here as we work our way into this fourth quarter. 621 remains in the game. They had cut the lead to nine right before the quarter break, and now Chapman has responded and has the lead back out to 14. Dylan Swihart crossed the timeline. Stops, brings it left and deep to Rosenau. Back to Swihart. Dylan, double team there. Looking to the right side, gets the two Limey. They start toward the baseline, double team, now to the baseline, kicks it out, throws it out, E3, P over three, rattles in there. The senior drills it from the left corner, E3, P O. And it gets the lead back down to 11, 58, 47, 550 left to go in the fourth. Chapman with the basketball. Warner, nearly taken away by Connor Last. He's used his dribble up, needs help. They turn it to Wasilk, he's guarded by Swihart. 58-47, 58-47, Tigers down by 11. But still, it's the dribble drive. He's fouled by Swihart. It'll be a one and one chance here for the 5'9 junior, who is two of three from this drive. Eighth team foul against the Tigers. Five have been whistled against Chapman in this half. Anthony was silk at the stripe. He had nine against the Tigers in Clay Center. Rattles the first free throw hand. He's hit three trays in a game, 14 points now. Brigham Glaves back in. Swihart will come out. Tigers trail 59-47. They lost to Chapman 71-50 back in play center early in the season. Second free throw is short. Rebound Warner for Chapman has it. They get a new opportunity with 531 left and a 12-point lead here in the fourth. Warner, another three chance. This one's strong. Rebound off to Nate Levy. So the Tigers have it back, trailing by 12. Still a long way to go. 5.18 left here in the fourth. Rosenau, bounce pass to the lane. Ball tipped away. Now Rosenau tried to get it back from Watkins. It's lobbed away to Isaac Jackson. Well, Silk with it brings it across. Now the dribble drive hangs in the lane. Blocked by Glaive. Saved back in. Chapman with it inside. Well, still comes up with it, and now a timeout's going to be taken by Coach James Bell of the Irish. 59-47, just under five to work in the ballgame. Tigers trail by 12 when we come back. The farmers and ranchers in this area have a lot in common with one another, yet every operation is unique with different strengths, opportunities, and financial needs. At Union State Bank, we understand that. As agricultural needs expand and evolve, we work to keep pace with these changes. I'm Keith Blake, and we have ag loans with competitive rates and flexible finance packages tailored to meet your needs. Feel free to talk with any of our ag loan officers about financing your farm or ranch operation at Union State Bank, your hometown bank, member FDIC. The Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center in Manhattan is continually in tune with the latest advances in medical treatments and therapies. One of these is called dry needling. This technique provides a stimulus to muscular trigger points, which leads to favorable biochemical changes. The result? Pain reduction for a variety of issues including neck, back, and shoulder pain, as well as common conditions such as carpal tunnel syndrome and tennis elbow. Visit the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center in Manhattan. The greatest comebacks begin here. Just under five left to go in this ballgame. The Tigers trail by 12, so very much a part of this game after falling by 16 in the third. They've got it back to single digits once, down by 12 now, and a missed shot inside by Warner. Rebound to Gavin Siebel. Nate Livey in the front court. Double team at him. Jump pass near the timeline to Rosenau. Now right wing glaive to the post. Connor last. Great post up inside. Boomer has seven. The feed from Glaives. And the Tigers have it back down to 10 with 435 remaining in the ballgame. Livey near steal. They're going to call the reach in, though. 
and a one and one chance here for the Irish. We're still will be back at the stride. So a one and one chance for Anthony with Silk. Four and a half to work in the fourth. It should be a one and one, and it is. Atkins and Inning King will check in. Seabold will come out. Also, Colston back on for the Irish as Watkins comes to the sideline. Dan with Silk knocks in the first free throw. So he has 15 in the game. Three threes, one two-point field goal, and he's now four of six from the stripe. Make it five of seven. And the lead is back to 12, 61-49, four and a half to go in the ball game. Nate Livey to the front court. All right, this bounce pass at sideline right to Brigham Glaves and kicked out of bounds by Chapman. Livey will inbound from the sideline. Out deep it comes Rosenau. Evan right back to Nate Livey. A back up top, Rosenau. Hit a three earlier. No chance there. Covered up. Back to Livey. Nate now works it to the timeline. Comes off to Rosenau. He'll ball pick it a couple of times, move it right side, and now he's going to be bumped from behind. This will be the 16th foul against the Irish. And it'll be Clay Center's basketball on the sideline, the third foul against Isaac Jackson. Tigers down by 12, nearing the midway point, fourth quarter, and they have the basketball. Here's Livey. Ball fake, dribble drive, gets up in the air, takes a tough started shot, no, rebound, battle for loose on the baseline, and it was out of bounds. And had it saved, but it, the basketball had already uh, fallen on the out-of-bounds line, so no chance to save it back in. It's Chapman's possession. Well, still has it right sideline against Livy. To the mid-court stripe, now a double team on him. Gets it rid of it right to Loy. Short corner right is Warner. Taylor Warner to Loy. Three-point attempt. Oh, and he splashes it in. He gives it to take a shot. They don't want to take, and they still make it. Zach Loy now has 12. The Tigers are down by 15. 337 remaining. Atkins and Inniki. Kick out, and a travel against the Tigers. Ant trying to kick it out to Glaives for a chance at three, and the travel was called before he was able to get rid of it. 64-49. Full court pressure with the Tigers. With Silk in the backcourt. Three and a half minutes remains. Nate Leiby near steal. With Silk able to save it in down the floor, and it goes to a teammate somehow. Now Colson tipped pass by last, picked up by Rosenau. Tigers have it back, down by 15. Long down court pass last. Kick out. Wing right, taken back now by Isaac Jackson. 64 49. Chapman will walk it across, but block their friend now. They lead it by 15, but 3 3 left in this game. Here's Warner, and he throws it away. Right to his head coach. You never, ever want to throw the basketball away to your head coach. That's what Taylor Warner did. So coach James Bell gets to catch it, and with the glare, explain that you need to work block. you got a 15-point lead. Atkinson and King will bring it across. Tigers down 15. Still three minutes to go. Here's Ant all the way to the lane. He's got 14 now. And the Tigers trail by 13 points and apply the full court pressure. Isaac Jackson into Wasilk. Long down court pass Warner. Attacks the lane. Takes it in. Fouled and gets the roll. It'll be a chance at a three-point play. Warner now has 19. And a chance at hoop and harm with 237 now left. And the Irish go back up by 15. They led by 16 in the third quarter, and the Tigers made a run toward the end, got it back to nine, and now in danger of falling behind by 16 once again. And Warner does convert the old-fashioned three. He has 20 now to lead all scores. Atkinson and King at the timeline brings it across, and we've got an offensive foul, and that's going to be the fifth on Atkinson and King. 67-51. 67-51. Wasn't much, but with the offhand of the dribble, the official thought he used it to his advantage to gain some space, and they call the fifth foul. 67-51, two and a half to work. So Ant will check out 14 points tonight. 
In will come Dylan Swihart. You have Rosenau, Livey, Glaves, and last on the floor. Chapman back with the basketball off the offensive foul call. Warner to the lane, hangs in the air, can't get it down, has his own rebound for a moment. Now battles for it, lost to the bounce, Hunter last, kept that alive and loose, and eventually went off of the Irish. So it'll be Clay Center's basketball, 2.20 left to go in the fourth. Swihart brings it across. Dylan out to Rosenau. Rosenau backs it out, double team on him. Corner right, it goes to Glay. Friggin' ball fake, pulls a quick trigger, it's just short. And the rebound off to Jackson. Chapman, a lead of 16. Ball silk outside to Warner, now off to Jackson, under two to go. Here's Colston. Back to a silk. Chapman wanting to run time, and a timeout now taken by the Irish sideline. We'll break as well. Tiger basketball will continue on 100.9. For any concrete project you need for a residential driveway, basement, patio, or curb, you can count on Midwest products to handle it. At every level of the job, you'll find a dedicated, skilled crew prepared to deliver a professional job. With state-approved plants in Hanover, Play Center, Lynn, and Washington, they can meet the needs of residential, commercial, or farm-related projects. For other ready-mixed concrete work, give Midwest Products a call at 800-371-2252. With United Bank and Trust Online Banking, you have access to your hometown bank 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year at ubankonline.com. You can view account balances, access statements, and transfer money between your UBT accounts. You can also view account activity, pay bills, and even make loan payments without being limited by banking hours. Simply visit ubankonline.com to learn more. Online banking with United Bank and Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. 67-51, 67-51, a minute 46 to work, fourth quarter. Tigers trail by 16, Chapman with the basketball out of their own timeout. They throw to the backcourt to Colston, who's got a nose plug in this right nostril. He banged around a little earlier. He's had that in for quite a while. Colston to drive, kick out in the corner. Now Warner, take on the three. Dribble attacks to the glass and lays it in. He is 22 now. And it's an 18-point Chapman lead, and then it's 29 left to go in this game. Nate Livey has it out deep. Leaves the Tigers with 19 tonight. Now, Swihart off balance three comes up short. Warner the rebound. A minute 15 remaining. Chapman, while Silk brings it across. Regal out deep. Colson around to the corner. Warner still shooting threes and almost got it in. Rebound comes off to Rosen now. One minute left. Tigers are down by 18. Livey in the corner. Swihart, good catch. Step through, shot up, no, rebound to Warner. And now tied up, no, reach and foul will be called against Swihart. And two free throws on the other end now for Chapman. Warner with 22 points in the game. Sophomore Taylor Warner gets two free throws coming. 51 seconds left in this ball game. Tigers down by 18. Free throw, rattles home. Warner, a big night. 23 now. Chance of low end for the Irish. Also Gabe Burton checking in. Warner waiting to shoot his second free throw. Coach James Bell for the Irish. Trying to make substitutions in. And the second free throw is strong. Rebound tracked down on the sideline by Watkins, but then he travels with the basketball. Tigers will bring in Trevin Shirley, Jake Ferguson, Brayton Williams, and Josh Hayden to the game. Tigers have one too many. They're going to get somebody out here. Nate Leiby will come out. So Nate will finish the game with 19. Down court he comes. Twyhart out of the left wing, Shirley. Back out deep to Williams. Brayton with 37 to work. Ball fake goes left to Shirley. Right side wing, Twyhart to the post for Hayden. Taken away by Lovett. 
30 seconds left. Taken right back away by Jake Ferguson. He'll take it strong. Oh, flashing good for Ferguson. The sophomore with the field goal. Good steal right off the defensive board taken in by the Irish. 16 to work at 70-53. Chapman's going to win it. And Chapman can just wind the clock down here as they hold the dribble out near the mid-court drive. Play center will let it wind down knowing the game is over. 70-53, your final. Chapman, the winner here over the Tigers in the NCKL. Stay with us. Post game's coming up next. A full-time custom applicator position is available at Crop Production Services in Clay Center. There are many facets to this job, including handling of packaged chemicals, operating spray equipment, as well as computers on equipment, mixing of pesticides and fertilizers, maintaining records, assisting the mechanic in daily inspection of vehicles, just to name a few. If you're looking for good work that offers insurance and benefits, apply in person at CPS on the west side of Clay Center on Highway 24. Back once again at Chapman, the Clay Center Tigers, a 70-53 loss at the hands of Chapman Irish, who improved to 10-5, and five, the Tigers 3-11. and 11. It is your RW Pest Control postgame show for the Chapman Irish, 23 for Taylor Warner, 16 from Anthony Wassil, 12 from Zach Loy, Isaac Jackson with 10, leading the way. The Tigers get 19 from Nate Livy. He knocked in four three-pointers tonight. Anthony Atkinson indicating 14, 7 eight for Connor Last and Brigham Blaves. And Jake Ferguson with two. Evan Rosen out. Knocked down a three ball for the Tigers. It is a 70-53 loss. Next up for the Tigers, it will be a trip to Belleville to face Republic County. Lady Tigers earlier tonight winning 50-28. to They are now 13-1. and Chapman dropped to 4-10. and That game at Belleville against Republic County scheduled to tip, of course, at 6 p.m. on Friday night. Play Center Tiger Wrestling coming your way on Thursday evening in Abilene. That'll wrap it up for our studio engineer, Bernie Pancella, on the RW Pest Control postgame show in the Tigers. A loss, 70-53. The Lady Tigers winning 50-28 earlier this evening. This is Rocky Downing telling you to enjoy the rest of your Sports Tuesday.